Right, we're here again. Mini mating nukes. These are national mini mating nukes, not Langstroth. Uh, a chap in America, <coughs> Dave from Barnyard Bees, he uh, he does these mini mating nukes in single two frame units. But I've decided to make these uh, in our national standard hive and uh, this is just a feeder square ventilator feeder hole a little feeder box goes on there no problem at all it goes actually across across this way the other one will go across here so we've got two sides two frames two frames Ventilated bottom, I've entrance this side, I've entrance that side. Now if you get one queen mated and this one at this side didn't come back, didn't get mated, all you need to do is take this, it never happens when you're doing a video, take this divider out and you've got a four frame nucleus box. Once that gets bigger you can split it up, put it into a different hive, whatever you want to do. But this is your separator. These uh, fit in here. The little notches there so they don't once you've got them in place they don't they'll not go skating off so once you put the, the thing back together and your feeders on that on nothing's going to move nothing is going to move at all so I think that's a, a good idea for the two frame mini mating nook if you've got two and you want to overwinter these, you put them side by side. Side by side like that. And we can just put a standard National Hive roof on the top of that. And there you go, you've got two four framers going through the winter in this box. You could put another lift on the top and a four queens going through the winter. Your choice. But it's just another idea what I'm trying this year. So whatever ideas you've got, I'm always on YouTube, always looking out for fresh ideas. And uh, thanks to our compatriots in America. It's come up with my little idea here and I hope it works. Right, thanks for watching. Catch you later.